let's solve for the values of x given that 3 to the x squared all over 9 to the x is equal to 27. So here we have 3 to the x squared all over 9 is same as 3 squared and this is raised to the x so I'm going to be raising this to the x this is equal to 27 is same as 3 cubed. Now our next step would be for us to apply the law of indices to what we have on the denominator. The law of indices that says when I have a to the m and this is raised to the n, this is the same as a to the m times n, which means the powers multiply. So we're going to be applying that here. So we have 3 to the x squared all over 3. Now let's multiply the powers. 2 times x is 2x. And this is equal to 3 to the 3. Now let's also apply the law of indices here as well. That says when I have a to the m, but this time this is divided by a to the n. This is equal to a to the m minus n. So division is associated with subtraction. So we come here. So the bases are the same. We take 3. Now we subtract the powers. Here we have x squared minus 2x. And this is equal to the right hand side we have 3 to the 3. Now notice that the base on the left and the base on the right are the same. So because of that, we equate powers. So the power on the left is x squared minus 2x. And this is equal to the power on the right, 3. Now our next step will be for us to move this 3 to the left hand side. So that we have x squared minus 2x. Now as 3 crosses to the left, it becomes minus 3. And this is equal to 0. Well, this is a quadratic equation that can be factorized. So I'll be multiplying two brackets. Since I have x squared here, that means x times x gives x squared. Now, the factors of negative 3 that we're going to use is negative 3 and 1. Because negative 3 times 1 gives negative 3. And if I have to add negative 3x plus x which is 1x gives negative 2x so this is the middle term and this is the constant term so this works very well so we're using negative 3 and plus 1 so negative 3 and plus 1 and this is equal to 0 so we have two cases. It is either x minus 3 is equal to 0 or x plus 1 is equal to 0. For the first case, we see that the value of x will be as negative 3 crosses to the right, it becomes positive 3. Or for the second case, we move 1 to the right hand side so that we have x. To be equal to as one crosses to the right it becomes negative one well in a question like this it is good that we check our answers to see which one is really correct now let's check so let's check now we're going to check if these values of x are correct now we'll start with when x is equal to three so let's substitute that here to see if we get 27. So we have 3 to the x this time is 3 squared all over 9 to the x which is 9 to the 3. And we're going to have 27. Now this becomes 3 to the 3 squared is 9 all over 9 is same as 3 squared and it is raised to the 3. So I'm going to raise this to the 3. And we're going to have 27. So this will be 
329 all over now from indices we multiply these powers so we have 3 to the 2 times 3 is 6 and we're going to have 27 so from indices we can take one of the base 3 and subtract the power since we have division here so the power at the top is 9 minus the power at the bottom is 6 and we're going to have 27 now this becomes 3 to the 9 minus 6 is actually 3 and we're going to have 27 actually 3 to the 3 is 27 and this is equal to the right hand side so we can see that x equal to 3 is very much correct now this time let's check for when x is equal to negative 1 so we have 3 to the negative 1 squared all over this is 9 to the negative 1 and we're going to have 27 this will be 3 to the negative 1 squared is 1 positive 1 all over 9 is same as 3 squared and this is raised to the negative 1 are we going to have 27 now this simplifies into 3 to the 1 all over now indices powers multiply so 2 times negative 1 is negative 2 so we have 3 to the negative 2 are we going to have 27 now from indices we can take one of the base 3 then subtract the powers so this is 1 minus negative 2 are we going to have 27 now this is 3 to the 1 negative times negative is positive 2 are we going to have 27 so this becomes 3 to the 1 plus 2 is 3 are we going to have 27 of course 3 to the 3 is 27 which is equal to the right hand side 27 so we can say that x equal to negative 1 is also correct well feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below and if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video go ahead and give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos and like i always say until next time take care